Here's a Pioneer PDF 904 100 CD changer. This is a uh, cheapened version of the PDF 100. Holds 100 CDs in four racks of 25 each. These were popular in the 1990s before uh, MP3 and computers kind of took over uh, these kind of uh, jobs. So these units hold 100 CDs and to load it, front panel opens up and there's four racks with 25 discs a piece and they open like that. Now this unit is actually a cheapened version of a similar player that they made called the PDF 100 and it has uh, they've removed some LED lights that were above the racks and some illumination on the disc buttons on the front in order to make it uh, you know less expensive here's a look at the back panel you've got an IO interface which allows it to be um, remote controlled by some other Pioneer equipment that I don't have. Um, you've got your RCA line out. This only has analog out, so no digital out on this at this point. And there's some kind of uh, synchronization. I believe it's serial in and out, which is a 3.5 millimeter plug and um, draws uh, 12 watts and this one was made in May of 1995 okay here's a look at operation um, it's remote controllable so power on and say I want to play disc 32 type in 32 comes up on the display hit play and the CD player in this model the CD player moves to the disc and then loads it and the interesting thing about this particular model it's one of the few where you can add and remove discs while it's playing the red light on the front is blinking twice to tell you that uh, rack 2 is in use and it can't be opened right now but if I wanted to go into one and add or remove CDs I could do that most of the um, later models instead of having the discs arranged horizontally like this they're on a circular platter inside that rotates around and the CD player doesn't move and that's probably a better way to do it and they get a lot better density in a similar size box they're cramming up to 300 CDs or DVDs in the other models so um, that's kind of interesting alright well here's a look at the side and when you stop it playing it'll return the disc to the holder and return all the way over to the left which is sort of the power off or beginning position every time it never leaves the disc inside the CD player so if I was to command it to play the first disc you can see the little white arm loads the disc into the player and basically the player is kind of a um, almost like an automotive CD player in that you know it's front loading and I'll try to capture it from another angle here alright here's a look at the CD player mechanism itself 
like I said, it loads from the front and it rides back and forth on this track here. There's one above it and below down there and also in the in the back. There's, there's two sets on the bottom and one on top and this piece of string which is uh, stretched here across goes over to the other side and from the back is where the power supply and uh, some of the electronics are for the audio there's a white ribbon cable down there that connects to the back of the CD player and that runs in here into the power supply and area and I'll go ahead and show the uh, load from another angle here a little better hopefully it's gonna go down to 98 and grab the disc and load it and that little motor on the side is what moves the uh, the transport so if you need to ship one of these um, the mistake that the guy made was that uh, there's some shipping screws that when the machine is turned off I believe they go in through the bottom and through that hole there into the bottom of the CD player and if that's not installed this thing will slide off the track and it does it quite easily so that's a another weakness in this design and that's what happened that and there was another problem with this one where that white arm was blocking the entrance of the CDs into the player and there's it goes up here to the top and there's a little white pin you can't really see that slides in a groove that's uh, controlled by that motor and it, the pin had popped out and once I pop that back in then it uh, started working and to get this thing resynchronized it's pretty easy you turn it off and you take this top cover off I didn't have a manual or anything I just kind of went by my you know CD pants if you will you take these screws out take this panel off and then bring it all the way back to the end and the way this thing determines its position is that black sensor down there I'm trying to get a picture of it there it is right there that um, is a Hall effect sensor basically and it detects the holes in this uh, groove down here which is under where the CDs are so it counts as it moves across it counts the in interruptions to the infrared light beam. So that's a look at a PDF 904 CD player.